Wednesday UFC welterweight division matchup. If I ask you who the most exciting man in mixed martial arts is today, I trust the answer just might be Justin Ray Gaethje. Realized a major championship outside the UFC. He has really taken this promotion by storm since signing with the MMA leader a few years ago. I mean, pace, pressure, aggressiveness, just meanness, a mentality that only allows him to pursue victory. Watching him against Edson Barbosa would stand some of the strikes that he took to get the knockout was a sight to behold. Oh. The fight against Michael Johnson in his UFC debut. Michael Johnson was a top five guy in the world, and Justin Gaethje completely melted him with pressure and pace. Just one of the most active guys in the UFC on the roster. More bonuses than UFC fights. Need Unreal. I say more? Justin Unreal. Gaethje back for more time. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Or tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Gaethje is two years his senior. The rest of the numbers are close. All right, now for the particulars, he is This Bruce is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Walkerweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Justin, the highlight, Gaethje! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 24 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Mechacala, Russia! Islam Bokachev! All right, give me the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Gaethje gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Right hand punch to the clinch. Look at the control of the posture as they land that knee. Lands to the body there. 
Uh, another knee right to the midsection. And those knees aren't just for effect. Those are doing real damage. Another nice knee there. Good exchange there inside. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. And now he's got that tie clinch. Oh, nice Muay Thai plump. Oh, good series of knees by him there, working the head, working the body. He is going all over the place tonight. He is using that knee to really dictate where the fight takes place. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guards, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, lands a stiff punch there, nice connection. Oh, nice land. Wow, actually got the takedown. Back to his feet. Nice one, two there. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Real quick leg kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Trying to kick the leg out. Punch coming, it's blocked. If your opponent has to end the clinch, pull it down on your head. This fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with him. He thought he was going low. And now he's got to hurt very badly. Keep going in. Going in. Oh! All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Ooh, what a punch. Gaethje's cheek looks like it's cut here. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. Hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, oh! Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh! Massive kick to the head! Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Look. And now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you end the night, that one landed right on the spot. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh! Single collar tie now. Once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, that's a nice strike. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Second round underway. That's a big strike right there. Gaethje's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Look at him chopping the wood. 
chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he's not get finished. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. The official decision is in. Here once more, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliotta has called a stop to this contest at 35 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Islam Bokachev. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights.